Welcome to The Culture of Healthcare Nursing Care Processes. This is Lecture A. The component, The Culture of Healthcare, addresses job expectations in healthcare settings. It discusses how care is organized within a practice setting, privacy laws, and professional and ethical issues encountered in the workplace. The objectives for nursing care processes are to learn what nurses do and how they are trained, learn how nurses make clinical decisions and assess patients, learn about the settings where nurses work, learn about the procedures nurses perform. This lecture discusses nursing roles, responsibilities, and work settings. It also describes what nurses do, how they are trained, and where they work. Nurses play a wide range of roles within healthcare, but usually they focus on caring for patients and teaching others about health issues. Many nurses provide direct patient care. Depending on their training and expertise, nurses might help a patient take care of himself, such as with dressing or bathing, provide care for a health problem, such as changing the bandage on a patient's wound, screen a patient for diseases, assist doctors with health procedures, or give a patient medication. Some highly trained nurses can even write prescriptions. Teaching is also an important part of the job for many nurses. Because nurses have a lot of contact with patients and their families, they often teach patients and their families how to manage a health problem, such as diabetes. Some nurses teach health and wellness topics to the public, such as how to avoid heart disease. Nurses with more advanced training can advise healthcare organizations about patient care or other health topics. Nurses play a role in overseeing a patient's care as well. Often, many different people provide health care to one patient. Nurses help coordinate this care. They might also manage other nurses or nurse aides who care for a patient. Lastly, nurses can help conduct research on health care and on health topics. Like many other healthcare professionals, some nurses specialize in one or more areas of medicine. There are several ways to specialize in nursing. A nurse can focus on treating certain body systems, such as the circulatory system. A nurse can focus on treating certain health problems, such as cancer. A nurse can focus on treating certain patient populations, such as children or the elderly. Or a nurse can work in a certain type of location, such as schools or patients' homes. Although we often think of nurses as working at a patient's bedside, nurses do not always work directly with patients. Those who specialize in informatics, for example, help improve information technologies and communication in healthcare. There are many different types of nurses working in a variety of specialty areas in the United States. In general, most nurses fall into three different categories licensed practical nurses, registered nurses, and advanced practice nurses. Of the three categories, Licensed practical nurses, or LPNs, have the least amount of education. Advanced practice nurses, or APNs, have the greatest amount of education. Nurses with the most education and expertise have the most responsibility. For example, advanced practice nurses can prescribe medications. Licensed practical nurses and registered nurses cannot. Most U.S. nurses are registered nurses, or RNs. The next slides describe what each type of nurse does, how they are educated, and where they work. Licensed practical nurses, or LPNs, provide basic patient care. They might take a patient's blood pressure, give injections, help a patient dress, and keep records about a patient. Like many nurses, Licensed practical nurses might also teach family members how to take care of a patient. A doctor or a registered nurse supervises the work of a licensed practical nurse. About half of licensed practical nurses work in hospitals or nursing care facilities. Licensed practical nurses also work in doctor's offices, in outpatient centers, at employment services, and in other settings. Depending on where they work, these nurses sometimes fill roles outside of direct patient care, such as scheduling appointments or preparing meals for patients. In California and Texas, licensed practical nurses are called licensed vocational nurses. 
There are three steps to becoming a licensed practical nurse in the U.S. First, a student must complete about one year of nursing training in a program approved by his or her state. These training programs are offered at institutions such as vocational schools and community colleges. Students study science and nursing in the classroom and also perform supervised, hands-on patient care. When they complete their training, students must take and pass a national exam for licensed practical nurses in order to earn the nursing license. To work in their state, students who pass the national exam must also meet all of their state's requirements. For example, a state might require that applicants pass a background check or require that applicants provide proof that they graduated from high school. Registered nurses are the most common type of nurse. There were about 2.6 million registered nursing jobs in the United States in 2008, more than any other healthcare job. Registered nurses, or RNs, have more education and, as a result, more responsibilities than licensed practical nurses. Registered nurses plan patient care, give medications and other therapies, and keep patient records. They teach patients, their families, and the public how to prevent and manage medical problems. Registered nurses consult with doctors about patient care, and they sometimes manage licensed practical nurses and other health care providers. Some licensed practical nurses who want greater career opportunities pursue further training to become registered nurses. Many registered nurses work in hospitals. However, the federal government's Occupational Information Network predicts increasing demand for registered nurses in other settings as medical technology improves and the population ages. Between now and 2018, the greatest increased demand for registered nurses is expected to be in doctor's offices, home health care services, nursing care facilities, and employment environments. Like licensed practical nurses, registered nurses must follow a three-step process to work in their state. Registered nurses, however, must spend more years studying nursing than licensed practical nurses do. Registered nurses study nursing for two to four years. They usually earn either a nursing diploma from a nursing program, an associate degree in nursing from a community college or nursing school, or a bachelor's of science degree in nursing from a four-year college or university. During the program, students study science and nursing in the classroom and receive supervised, hands-on experience with patients in a healthcare facility, such as a hospital or a public health department. Students then must take a national licensing exam for registered nurses. Once they pass the exam and meet all their state requirements, they can work as a registered nurse. Advanced Practice Nurses, APNs, are registered nurses who have pursued extra education. Advanced Practice Nurses can provide a wider range of medical services than a registered nurse can. There are four types of advanced practice nurses. Certified registered nurse anesthetists, certified nurse midwives, nurse practitioners, and clinical nurse specialists. A certified registered nurse anesthetist can give anesthesia to patients. A certified nurse midwife can provide certain types of gynecological and obstetrical care to women. A nurse practitioner often provides primary care to patients and can write prescriptions. A clinical nurse specialist who specializes in one area of medicine can treat patients, conduct research, and work as an administrator among other tasks. To obtain work, advanced practical nurses must already be licensed as RNs and have work experience as RNs. They also must earn a master's or higher degree in nursing, and they must meet their state's requirements to work as an advanced practical nurse. Advanced practical nurses are also called advanced practice registered nurses. Like many healthcare providers, most nurses pursue continuing education to keep their skills updated, to maintain their license, and to meet their employer's requirements. Nurses take continuing education courses online or in classrooms through accredited organizations. Some nurses may also choose to earn a certificate in a specialty. Nurses who want to specialize in a certain area can become certified by taking an exam from an approved organization 
such as the American Nurses Credentialing Center. The certificate is usually not required to work in the specialty, but it provides proof of the nurse's skills and knowledge in that area. Nurse practitioners can earn certifications to specialize in various areas of nursing care. This slide lists the NP specialty exams that are available from the American Nurses Credentialing Center. Nurse practitioners can practice completely independently of a physician in some states. In other states, they must collaborate with a physician or be supervised by a physician when making a diagnosis or prescribing treatment. Clinical nurse specialists can also earn certifications to specialize in various areas of nursing care. This slide lists the CNS specialty exams that are available from the American Nurses Credentialing Center. Licensed practical nurses and registered nurses can also earn specialty certificates. This slide lists just some of the RN specialty exams that are available from the American Nurses Credentialing Center. Like specialty certificates, higher education can help nurses advance. As discussed, registered nurses can earn a master's degree in nursing to become an advanced practice nurse. Registered nurses can also earn doctoral degrees in nursing, either a doctor of philosophy or PhD, or a doctor of nursing practice, or DNP. The PhD program trains a nurse to do research and teaching, and the DNP program trains a nurse in leadership and other skills. This concludes Lecture A of Nursing Care Processes. In summary, nurses play a wide variety of roles in the healthcare system. They might provide bedside care to a patient, teach the public about health issues, conduct research, or work as administrators in a healthcare organization. Many nurses specialize by working with patients with certain kinds of health problems, working with certain patient populations, and or working in certain types of healthcare settings. Most nurses work directly with patients, providing care and teaching them about health issues for employers as diverse as hospitals, schools, clinics, and home health care services. All nurses have formal training in nursing, must pass a national nursing exam, and must meet any state requirements. Registered nurses, the most common type of nurse, can become advanced practice nurses and take on greater responsibility if they pursue additional training. Nurses can add to their skills by pursuing continuing medical education and certification in their area of specialty. Some nurses pursue a master's degree or doctoral degree to increase their knowledge and advance their careers.